Today's question is all about budget upgrades, and Mr. Palant Palantra, Palant I'm just going to call you Mr. P. Mr. P asks, I'm on a budget, and at the time, I am running an i3-9100F and an RX 570 4GB card. That's a nicely balanced machine, no worries. And right now, with my money, I can go for a very good option. I can upgrade both the CPU and the GPU to an i5-9600K and an RX Vega 56. Both are used and cheap, and that Vega 56 was never used to mine. Well, we're not going to discuss the never used to mine part because let's just not, shall we? Let's talk about the value of budget upgrades. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. First of all, let's talk about the video card. The RX 570 4GB card is A, still a completely useful, viable gaming card in 2023 when I am recording this. It's not going to play AAA games, you're not going to be running Hogwarts Legacy or Spider-Man Remastered on it, at least not anything other than low detail and yeah, so you're not. But Overwatch, World of Tanks, League of Legends, Dota 2, CSGO, GTA 5, I mean there are 18 billion thousand games that will run just fine on that card, no worries. However, it does have distinct limitations. It is now uh, quite an old card at this point. It's only got four gigabytes of VRAM and an RX Vega 56 is a serious performance upgrade. Double the VRAM to eight gigabytes and it's not twice the raw actual gaming performance, but it definitely is a noticeable and dramatic step up. Absolutely 100% recommend that upgrade without question. Now that brings us to the CPU. Your current CPU, the i3-9100F, is a four-core, four-thread, ninth-generation chip. Again, League of Legends, World of Warships, Dota 2, any game that's more than five years old, probably not too much of a problem. GTA 5 is probably okay, although the online component's probably a little rough at this point. But you can play tons and tons of games on that CPU. The i5-9600K is definitely a step up. It's 50% more cores. You've got six cores, six threads, instead of four cores, four threads. The problem is, I was not excited about the i5-9600K when it launched, much less in 2023. Six cores, six threads is not, it's, it's, that's kind of sort of out of date at this point as well. If it were six cores, 12 threads, I'd like it more. You can do that. It's called an i7-8700K. You might consider inquiring about whether the previous generation chip, which is the same socket, it's drop-in compatible, the i7-8700K is six cores, 12 threads, and because it's a K chip, it's overclockable if you have a Z board. If you don't, it's not, but it'll still run very nicely. 4.3 gigahertz is the stock all-core clock speed, so if you do not have an overclockable motherboard, you're still gonna get great performance. If that's not an option, inquire about an i9-9900. It can be a K or an non-K, it doesn't really matter. And that has eight cores and 16 threads. That is a serious step up in performance and that's going to let you play much more modern games and give you some more life to the machine. It may not, however, fit within your budget and I certainly understand that. Another option is to look into selling your entire CPU and motherboard combination, possibly RAM and cooler as the whole unit, Take that out, and instead, an inexpensive B450 or B550, skip the 350s if you can, and put a Ryzen 5 5500, 5600, or 5700X on there. As of the date of filming, now in the United States, you may be in another country. I understand prices vary around the world. I just do prices in the U.S. Right now, a Ryzen 5 5500, six cores, 12 threads, Zen 3 architecture, $85. And that includes a cooler in the box. That's pretty good. If you can pick up a motherboard in the $60 to $80 price range, a used board, open box board, it, again, a B550 is technically the supported version for that, but a B450, so long as the BIOS has been updated for Zen 3, is just fine as well. I would have no problems whatsoever putting that on, say, like a, a B450 Tomahawk. It's 
it's that's a low power chip. It really doesn't matter. I wouldn't put a Ryzen 9 5950X on such a board, but that's not going to matter. The Ryzen 5 5600 is just an improved version of that chip that's going to run about 10% faster. And then the Ryzen 7 5700X at the time of recording is $175. Now that's twice the price of the 5500. It's eight cores and 16 threads. And you might say, is it really worth twice the price? With a Vega 56, yes, if you can afford it. If you can't, I understand. It doesn't come with a cooler in the box, and that's a concern of a lot of people. But if you can, the clock speed is higher. It has PCI Express Gen 4, which the 5500 does not. And it has twice the on-chip cache, which is also another improvement. So somewhere in that range will let you upgrade your whole system, and it will give you a much better experience. Even a... 5600 is going to be faster than the 9600K and you gain the benefit of hyperthreading. So looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. If you cannot afford any of those options, if it's this or nothing, then I don't have a problem with it. I mean, mate, for all I know, you're paying 25 bucks for the upgrade in which case, because that's where the detail's missing. If you're paying 25 bucks for the upgrade, then absolutely go for it, do it all day long. But if you're paying 100 bucks for the upgrade, that's terrible. Take that for what it's worth. I just, I would like to see a bigger CPU upgrade than that, but I love the GPU upgrade. That will be noticeable.